Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com. In today's video, we are going to modify a Spyderco knife and add honeycomb metal etching. So this is the finished product. This is an old Spyderco stainless steel knife. This blade is probably 25 years old. And I've cleaned it up a little bit and modified it uh, by adding some very unique metal etching. This is how the project started. This is actually a blade that ended up as a, as a work knife in my shop. Really beat up, <laughs> very abused over the years. Uh, but it, it at one point in time was my EDC, my everyday carry. Uh, I decided to clean it up a little bit. And you know, I really wasn't planning on doing etching, but um, you know, once I cleaned it up and saw how it was looking, it, it just kind of was a, a work in progress that evolved. I took off the belt clip to start and then really just going to sand both sides a little bit, uh, polish them, clean them up just a little bit. Um, you can do this with a block and sandpaper. Uh, if you have a belt sander, I have a 2x72 uh, Oregon blade maker that I use. I put a real fine belt on it. It's about 120 grit. Um, I find it easy to um, surface grind on that just by using a welder's magnet to hold the blade, or hold the, the knife. Uh, don't keep it on for too long. You don't want to build up too, too much heat. It's very quick to clean up a knife like, like that. You know, you get out all of the deep scratches and the, get off all of it. I think it even had some epoxy casting resin on it. I even took a uh, I even cleaned up the blade of the knife a little bit just with a Scotch-Brite belt on the same belt sander. So this is the knife polished. I mean, not really polished, but sanded off. 120 grit, both sides. And now to add the metal etching. The first step in the process is to mask off the entire uh, surface of one half of, of the blade. I use a uh, self-adhesive vinyl. Uh, I got this down at Michael's Art Supply. It's actually vinyl that uh, for my vinyl cutting machine, a, a Cameo Silhouette. Just some scrap pieces. And then I'm going to use a pen. You could also use a pencil. By pressing your fingers on that vinyl, you can actually visualize where the outline of the knife is. So with the pen, I'm really just marking a line that's, you know, an eighth of an inch in from the outer edge. Now I'm going to create a border or a frame for the etching that I'm going to do. And then after I'm done drawing that line, I'll trace that or I'll follow those lines with a razor knife and just basically cut out the inside, exposing the entire area that I want to etch. And that vinyl is then going to protect or block uh, any parts of the knife that I don't want etched. Now I printed up a honeycomb pattern on that same uh, Cameo Silhouette vinyl cutting machine. But you could do this with any pattern, any design that you'd like. You don't have to have a vinyl cutting machine. You can cut this vinyl out by hand. Uh, I'm sure that you could also buy some pre-made stickers of sorts. I had used this honeycomb on a, on a recent knife making project and I was pretty happy with it. So I, I figured it would look good on the spider comb. I didn't want the straight honeycomb design, so I, I did spend a few minutes and just cut out a couple of sections just to give it a broken, a broken look. So this is the knife ready for etching. It's got the uh, vinyl uh, covering uh, all sections of the metal that I don't want etched. I use a 12 volt uh, battery charger with the positive lead hooked up to the knife. The negative lead is hooked up actually to a small piece of angle iron that's wrapped in gauze. I did buy some stainless steel electrolyte uh, for this project. I tried uh, etching stainless in the past with salt water, which is what I use for most of my metal etching projects. And it just didn't work very well on stainless. This metal etching or the stainless etching electrolyte 
which I found on eBay, uh, very affordable and really works well. You want to saturate the gauze until it has enough fluid on it where that fluid actually reaches the angle iron that the gauze is covering. And then making sure that you don't touch that positive lead, you want to apply it uh, to the section of the knife that you want to etch. <coughs> Excuse me. You want to leave it in place for probably 20, 30 seconds at the most. It does generate some heat. And my fear is that if you leave it on too, too long, uh, that vinyl is going to heat up and lose some of the adhesion. So what I do is leave it in, <clears throat> in each position for about 20 seconds. And after, you know, 20 at max 30 seconds, I'll lift up that gauze uh, wrapped angle iron and I'll move it down uh, so that I, I etch another portion of the knife. And I want to repeat this process until every section of the knife has a total etching time of almost three minutes. I really wanted a, a fairly deep etch on this blade because one of the things I didn't like about it was that smooth, um, it was too smooth and too slippery in my hand. So I figured a little bit of a deep etch would also add some grip, you know, to the handles, some texture. So after you know, three minutes total in every spot, I turn off uh, the battery charger, I disconnect the positive lead, and then I can peel off the vinyl. That's gonna re reveal a very dirty, but you can definitely see uh, the edge. Might be a little bit warm to touch. You can clean that with, uh, with water and a cloth, and then you just want a surface polish. Again, I just went back to the 120 grit. You can do this with, uh, with sandpaper and a block, and that just polishes the upper edge of the steel. I did throw it on that scotch Bright pad again just to polish it a little bit. If you don't have a belt sander, I, you could just do it with the same block and maybe a six or an 800 grit paper. And then the last step in the process is really just screwing back uh, that pocket clip. If you have a little bit of Loctite, put a little Loctite on each one of those screws. This is the finished product. I was very happy with the results. The, the metal etching on the stainless came out really nice. It's a very unique uh, customization that you can do to any uh, stainless steel knife, any uh, knife that has uh, stainless steel handles. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I ask that you please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. By all means, check us out on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com. We've got a whole section on knife making, uh, tools and uh, knife blanks, all sorts of uh, how-to videos. And by all means, join us on the Facebook group, Knives and Knife Making. Thank you very much.